up guys and welcome to this new video today we will be doing the unboxing of the uh, what is this Alex okay today we're doing the unboxing of the this I know but what are this their bags Bastatore obviously okay let's see the name of the bags so they're called animals the very dangerous dinosaurs maxi edition what do they mean? Exactly, I'm not dangerous. I am, but this bag is proposing that every dinosaur is dangerous. Maybe it's only about carnivore dinosaurs. It's possible, but well, as I say, this is the Maxi Edition. So inside this bag, we will find eight collectible dinosaurs. Great, giant dinosaurs. Let's see if these eight magnificent dinosaurs are good enough. You can find them in the store at the price of 350. Great, okay, okay, let's open the first one. And let's go! And what is this thing, Vasatori? Um, I don't know. It's like a mixture between an Iguanodon and a Dilophosaurus. But it's not like any of them! So let's analyze him properly. The color is not bad, but the eyes are terrible. Yeah. They colored the pupil onto the eye. In fact, and it has a very strange face. Seems like a bird or something like that. So if we keep going, we can notice that it has three fingers in their paws, as we can see. So it has three fingers on his hands, exactly. And I don't know, guys, it could be an Allosaurus. But I don't know, his face is a little bit strange for that. But maybe it's a dinosaur that we do not know. Exactly, you're right. Let's check. Okay, so this is supposed to be a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> a Tyrannosaurus? This? Are you joking? No, 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 Bastatore, calm down! Your blood pressure is going up! I can see it, Bastatore, calm down! But, but, uh, Alex, how can they call this thing a Tyrannosaurus? Bastatore, calm down, it could easily be a Tyrannosaurus that has been genetically modified, you know? Alex, never in my life I have seen a Tyrannosaurus with three fingers, you know? And then what's wrong with that face? It's an insult to every Tyrannosaurus, the entire species! Okay, I got it, you don't like it, but calm down, please! We already lost the unboxing with this thing. Oh my god, what is wrong with you guys? That's not a Tyrannosaurus, I am! Okay, Bastatore, calm down, maybe the others are better. Let's try with the second bag, okay? Okay, let's open the second one, let's see. See? Now we found a... Uh, uh, um, it looks like a seal. No, Bastatore, it's not a seal, it looks like one. A seal with spines on his back. But no, Bastatore, this guy must be... Um, you know, it must be, um, a dinosaur from, um, uh... Alex, don't try to justify it, it's terrible! And then look, look at his tail, it has like an ice cream in his tail! No, Bastatore, that's the typical tail of the, of the, uh, the amazing, uh, Thingsaurus! Yes, I know what you mean, you're trying to presume that for the tail this is an Ankylosaurus, really? Well, I'm trying, I don't know! It has a tail like an Ankylosaurus, but it's not properly one, so I really don't know what is this guy! Oh, who knows, maybe you're right! Let's check in the magazine which dinosaur is this one, huh? Oh, guess what, you were right, it's an Ankylosaurus! In a million years! Eh, uh, Mastatone, calm down, at least it's... it's kinda cute, no? It's terrible, and they're lying, they took a picture on the good side! From this angle, it would seem to be cute! But from this one, it's terrible! That's not even a paw, it's like a... I don't know, a pin! It's like a fusion of a dinosaur with a penguin! Eh, uh, Tony, you're right, let's go to the next bag, maybe the next one, it's decent! Okay, let's go to the next one. Ah, poor me, okay, let's keep going. Well, this one, it's cute, even if it's not standing. Which dinosaur is it? This is a Ceratosaurus. A Potatosaurus? A Ceratosaurus! Oh, okay, well, let's go to the next bag! Okay, let's see. And we have found a Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, this one's cute, right? Yeah. But I don't understand these guys. They make them like butter toes and they cannot stand. I mean, I really, I really try, but it's impossible. They're extremely soft. Now, ah, come on. I know, guys, in case you haven't noticed, these are supposed to be soft toys. So the idea is that you can stretch them and they're squishy and all that. And guess what? No, they're hard rock. It's terrible. And you cannot stretch them not even a bit. Ugh. Look at this. They have a terrible consistency. Terrible. When I touch them, I don't feel relaxed at all. I just get even more angry. Okay, but this one is standing. Alex, these are easily the worst toys I have ever seen in my whole life, okay? 
Well, okay. Come on, let's go to the last bag. The last bag already? Yes, indeed. This video is going to be terribly short. We've been recording from a short time. Exactly. Well, there's not a lot to say about these horrible toys. And even in the back, the dinosaurs seem to have three fingers. I mean, why? Who made these bags? Maybe someone who knows nothing about dinosaurs. But in that case, make... I don't know, bags from other animals, not about dinosaurs. About monkeys? About birds? I don't know. But leave dinosaurs alone. Don't make us look bad. Let's see what the hell is inside this bag. Another Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right here. So in four bags, we found only one dinosaur capable of standing by itself. But no, Mastatoria, we also have this one. No, Alex, this one is non-existent. Out! But well, guys, the video finishes here. What do you mean it finishes here, Mastatoria? It's short! And what do you want me to do, Alex? There's no way I can talk about these toys. It's simply over. But well, let's, like, try something. Let's review these toys with more detail. And what else can we say? They're horrible and they are useless. They're terribly done and they cannot stand alone. I don't know, but the video is very short. Okay, let's review these toys better. Okay, so the Pachycephalosaurus. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's green with a red head and it's terrible. The end. But this is, this is the Pachycephalosaurus. But Pastatori, I don't know, say something else. Say something interesting. So the Pachycephalosaurus was a, a very interesting dinosaur. It was very particular because it, it well, uh, it's, everyone knows the Pachycephalosaurus. It doesn't matter, speak about it. Uh, well, okay, uh, as I was saying, uh, so so the medium length of a Pachycephalosaurus was about two or three meters, but his most important and distinctive characteristic, his most characteristic characteristic, right? Amazing. Well, his most important characteristic was uh, um, his skull. His skull? Yeah, his skull. His skull, yes. Yes, the skull of the Pachycephalosaurus was very strong, and usually it was used to fight between them. Great, amazing, Bastatore! Now let's go to the other dinosaur! Okay, so this is a seal, I mean, Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus were herbivorous dinosaurs, and for defending themselves, they used this um, particular tail they have. This structure allowed them to hit their enemies and to defend from every predator, you know? Like, for example, a Tyrannosaurus, yes! Wow, I know a lot! Congratulations, Pastatore! A+, plus. but it's not the case of this particular Ankylosaurus, because it seems like everything less than Ankylosaurus. It seems like a seal fused with a penguin um, that it's trying to, I don't know, buy something in the store. Yeah, just like that, it seems terrible, it's horrible. What are you saying, Mastatori? Alex, how could I possibly talk well about these things? Okay, let's go to the other one. Then, the Ceratosaurus was a carnivore dinosaur of medium dimensions. And its main characteristic was a horn that appeared just in front of his nose. And that made him very different from any other carnivore. It had very strong back legs, in contrary to this toy that cannot even stand. Masatori, calm down, the blood pressure! Uh, okay, yeah, I'm calm down, I'm calm down. And nothing, this is the Ceratosaurus, nothing more to say about him. Let's go to the next one. Then we have this dinosaur that has no reason at all to exist. But it does, so we're going to talk about him either way. This thing right here is the fuse between a carnivorous dinosaur and an herbivorous one. So, an Iwanodon and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So the fuse between these two dinosaurs made this strange thing to be alive and in front of us. And I have no idea whatsoever why it does exist. So I don't know if it's more an Iwanodon or another thing. I'm not sure about it. I'm really... I don't know what to say, guys. It's very particular. It could also be a Brachiosaurus, but I'm not sure what they tried to do with this thing, okay? Bastatore, what are you saying? Are you going insane? Alex, I will never believe that this is a Tyrannosaurus or treat him as one. Do you want me to believe that that's supposed to represent me? But the magazine says, I don't care what the magazine says, okay? Okay, however you want. How's the video going? It's still a little bit short. 
Oh no, well keep talking! And you know, what else should I say? I don't know, just talk! But, just talk? And why? Let's just close the video and that's all! There's nothing else to do! Satona, it's too short, keep talking! I'll keep talking, and, and well, um, due to the fact that this is not a Tyrannosaurus, uh, it has to be, I don't know, maybe a strange cousin, I don't know how could it be called, or I don't know what it could do in this world, because look at his face, it's very stupid, and his eyes are not properly colored, so I don't know why it has been created, but well, if a child sees this, it would believe that Tyrannosaurus were some kind of stupid lizard that had no eyes. And that's very, very far from the truth. Because the Tyrannosaurus, like me, were the top dinosaurs of the world. So I think we should call this guy Stupid Saurus. Huh? What do you think about it, Alex? It's an amazing name, huh? I think you're about to go crazy. Well, at least I made enough time. I think it was a waste of time, we should have just closed the video and that's all. Well, I told you that. Okay, let's close it. Okay, let's close it. Close it. Let's close it. Yeah. Yes. Eh. 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 Okay. Well. Oh well. Okay. And okay. Great. And yeah. Eh. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. Good. Okay, Eric, let's do it. Uh, Mastatora, come on, let's try to keep it up for a few more minutes and then we can close it. <sighs> okay, and what, uh, what do you want to do in these two minutes, huh? I don't know, let's keep talking about these dinosaurs. No, cannot you understand that the more I talk about these dinosaurs, the more mad I get? Uh, well, okay, so let's do another unboxing. Well, another unboxing? Uh, now? Yes. Um, well, okay, go and get something else. Okay, we'll do, we'll do another unboxing. I'll go get it, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see what can I find. Uh, let me see. I got it. What you got? Right here. Uh, wait. Eh, here. And what is this? What do you mean, what is this? It's a toilet paper cylinder. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I can see that. And why would you bring that? It's uh, completely useless. It has not any value. No, listen to me. This has even more value than when it was attached to a toilet paper. It's the fossil of a toilet paper. A fossil of toilet paper? Yes. But what, 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 what are you saying? Masatori, I mean, this is a marvelous event. This is not a fossil, Alex. It's a cylinder of toilet paper. So let me get this. When you find the skeleton of a dinosaur, you don't say, oh, this is not a dinosaur anymore. It has no value. No, you say it's a fossil. And fossils have value. So in this case, this X toilet paper has value. Alex, please, I beg you, let's close the video before I get mad. But Masatori, wait! This cylinder has a very important role. Alex, please stop it! Let's close the video. Well, okay. Well, okay, guys. Uh, well, the video finishes here. And please, um, let us know what do you think about it. Even when I'm scared to know, leave a lot of comments on Instagram. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye, guys! Okay, guys, so these toys are called dangerous animals. But the only danger is wasting 3.5 in one of these bags. Save yourselves while you can. Don't buy them!